And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my trailer reaction and review for the brand new official trailer for Five Nights at Freddy, starring Josh Hutchison. Now, you know, the last time we got a video game app adaptation was the Angry Birds movie. Very fun films. Um, I've only played this game like maybe like twice, so I'm not I'm not super familiar with the game. Um, it, it wasn't really my in my you know wheelhouse of games to play, but um, I do know a little bit about it. But if you know they're gonna make a movie about something, you know this sounds like a cool concept. So um, it's basically kind of like I guess Chuck E. Cheese if 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 they came to life and started killing people, you know why not sign me up? You know animatronics at that you know. Of those natures, you know, they've always, always been creepy to some younger kids. Making a video game about it that pop up and scare, you know, big jump scares. So, um, if it has that in here, like the game did, let's see how it turns out. I hear it's going to be a day and day release. I'm not really sure, but, um, let's check it out. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. I will take anything. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. <laughs> See, that's a red flag right there. Why would you work in an abandoned music park? All you have to do Keep your eyes on the monitor. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. Good. You must be a new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Met who? Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's too late. Where do we go? Where to? Why do I always get the weirdos? Okay. Well, the good thing about that trailer it didn't say anything about um, Peacock because the rumor I read was the fact that it was going to go on Peacock and theaters at the same time. Didn't say that in the trailer, so I wonder if they changed their minds. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? As the trailer goes, I'll check it out. I mean, look, honestly... Like I said, today kids don't understand um, how creepy it is. Back in those days, Chuck E. Cheese and all those animatronic little puppet things. You know, those things were kind of creepy back in the day. And, you know, making a movie or, you know, out of about those animatronics coming to life could be a little scary. And I think that's a pretty cool concept. Now, I don't, like I said before, I barely ever played the game. So I only played a couple of times. So I don't really know the exact concept of the original game. So I'm not sure they're actually following the game, you know, and keeping being faithful to it. I mean, it is an app game. So, um, but looks pretty cool. I mean, you can tell it's a low budget film, obviously, but 
it look like it could be fun. Who knows? It can also be terrible too. I mean, just look at the Winnie the Pooh film that we got this year. But um, that was still a fun time. But um, you know, got to be honest. The concept to me about this looks very you know interesting with the whole he goes he's gonna watch this abandoned place and everything starts happening. Why? Why now? You know. That's that's what I want to know. Why 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 as soon as he enters this whole you know abandoned you know theme park or, or what is it uh, uh, what do you, what do you call those places amusement stores whatever the Chuck E Cheese kind of place I don't know what they actually call it but anyway why 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 are they coming back to life now you know so I wonder if there's gonna be a little backstory to that in this but you know Bloomhouse you know they always. Do a great job with you know taking five dollars that they get from a but for a budget and making great content for a movie. So I mean, not that the budget five dollars is insane. Their their budget's so low, they make really good horror films. I mean, take a look at the new um, Halloween two thousand eighteen version. I thought that movie was brilliant with a low budget that they had, and it was great. Sequels not so much, but the first one was great. So I trust Bloomhouse. And if you're going to do Five Nights at Freddy, why not? And, you know, it's been a while since I think we've seen Josh Hutchison do anything. I think the last time I saw him in anything, it could be Hunger Games. Might be wrong about that. It might be something I've seen of him. Just can't remember what it is. But um, I'll check it out when it comes out. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Are you guys big fans of Five Nights at Freddy? The app, the game... Um, are you going to see this when it comes out? Do you think it's being faithful to what the game, you know, gave you? Um, do you like these kind of movies where animatronics come to life and start going psycho on people? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much and have a good day.